Welcome back. Time to perform an advanced attack on an Android device. Or should I say this is more of a social engineering attack because we are tricking the target into installing an application that is infected with our payload. Remember in one of the previous videos from the Android section where I showed you that we actually had Flappy Bird application right here in the Android applications. Well, you don't see it now because I deleted it, but that application was actually infected with our payload. And I'm going to show you right now how we can do that. The first thing that you want to do is, you first of all want to follow this tutorial and in case something doesn't work, you want to run these commands. I will just type them right now and in case you watch this entire tutorial and something doesn't work, make sure to run these three commands and try it again. The first command would be apt get remove apk tool. Once again, don't run this right now, I'm just showing it to you. And after you execute this command, you would want to navigate to the Firefox, type apk tool, and from the first link, you want to click on how to install. This will lead you to the installation of apk tool, and you want to navigate to the Linux installation and follow these steps right here. Once you follow these steps and install the apk tool, then the last command that you want to run is apt get install zip align. But we're not going to run this at the moment. We're only going to run this in case something doesn't work. So let's give it a try. Let's create a payload and infect Flappy Bird application with it. So for this to work, we're going to need an actual payload and we're also going to need the application of Flappy Bird. Let's go with Flappy Bird first. We all know the game, most of you probably even play the game. So in order to download that, we want to be searching for the APK file. Remember, APK is something that we can run on Android. So if I type Flappy Bird APK and I search for it, I will find this link that says flappy-bird.en.updown.com. Click on that link. It will say Flappy Bird 1.3 version and we want to download and click on this latest version right here. Click on download. It will open this window. We want to click on save file and then click on OK. Once it finishes downloading, we want to navigate to this arrow and we want to open the folder where we have our Flappy Bird APK file installed. Let's also create our payload in this directory. So open terminal here. It will open the terminal in the slash downloads directory and let me just zoom this in so you can see everything better. And once we do that, I can type ls and I will have this Flappy Bird application right here. In order to inject our payload into this, we're going to use a good old dash x option from the MSF Venom and we're going to specify the Flappy Bird APK file right here. Remember what dash x means? It means that it will try to make our payload inject in this application right here. All we're left to do right now is select the payload, which is going to be the good old meterpreter. And we want to select the L host to be the IP address of our Cal Linux machine and L port to be any port that you want. In our case, I'm just going to use 5555 as usual. And the last option is dash O, and let's just call it test.apk. Before you run it, just double check everything. You downloaded the Flappy Bird application. Make sure that it is an APK file or that it has this APK extension. You selected the correct payload. You selected the correct IP address. And once all of that is done, you can press enter right here. While this is being executed, let's go to the second terminal and start our Apache 2 web server. And let's go back and we do get some error right here. Okay, so we got an error. What are we going to do? Let's run those three commands that I told you. So the first one is sudo apt-get remove apk tool, enter the password. It even tells us apk tool is not installed. Okay, we're going to ignore this at the moment and we're going to go to the official APK site. So what does it say right here? Download Linux wrapper script. Let's go there. 
it will open this script. Let's control A to select everything and then copy it. Once we copy it, it will tell us the next step, which is download APK tool. But before you do that, it tells us right click and save link as APK tool. So we already copied the content of that. Let's just go and nano APK tool. Let's paste everything that we copied right here. We can save this as APK tool. And the next step is going to be download APK tool 2. Let's go find newest here. They gave us the link. And once we go right here, we want to download the newest one, which is APK tool 2.4.1. Let's click on that. Let's save the file. In just a few seconds, it should finish the download. And let's go back to check out what is the third step. So rename the downloaded jar file to apktool.jar. Hmm. Let's do that. It is in our downloads directory. And it seems that we actually have two of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the first one. And I'm going to rename the second one to, what did it say? Let's double check. We want to rename it to apktool.jar. So let's do that. MV apk tool to the apk tool dot jar. Okay, great. The fourth step is move both of these files that we just downloaded and created to this location right here. And it even tells us root is needed for this. So let's enter the root account. And let's move first the apk tool to slash user slash local slash bin. And after that, we can move the apk tool jar to slash user slash local slash bin. Great. And the fifth step is make sure both files are executable. For this, we must navigate to that actual directory. And we want to do and type chmod plus x apk tool and chmod plus x apk tool jar. Great. And the last step is try running apk tool via command line. So if I just type apk tool, awesome, it works. So another thing that you might want to give it a try is in case our payload creation still doesn't work, make sure that you're running the command as a root account. Matter of fact, we're going to try to create a payload right now as root account. We're not going to go back to the regular user. And once you do that, Let's go and type the same command. Once again, make sure that you're a root account. We want to type the dash X option, select our APK flappy bird file, then dash P for the payload. And L host and L port. And at the end, dash O and let's call it test.apk. Press enter. And let's see whether it will work right now. So this command can take a few seconds to actually execute. And if we don't get any error, that means our command worked. And here it is. It finished with no errors. It went through all of these steps of unpacking the APK and setting all of the permission options for our application. And we got the payload size right here and saved as test.apk. Now, if you still got an error, Try running this command as well, which is apt get install zip align. And after this installs, try creating the payload once again and see if it works then. But since we already got our payload right here, let's copy it or move it to slash var slash www slash html. Once again, make sure Apache 2 is started. And if I go right here, go and visit the Google Chrome. While this opens, what I'm going to do is run MSF console. Going to close all of these previous tabs as we don't really need them. And let's just wait for the MSF console to open. And while it does that, let's refresh our page. Here is our test.apk and you will notice that our payload size is significantly larger than the previous payloads that we used. And this is due to us adding this inside of a Flappy Bird. So we're not only going to run the actual payload, 
but we're also going to run the game Flappy Bird and the target will have no idea that in the background they executed our Meterpeter reverse shell. Let's go and set up all of the settings right here. Use exploit multi-handler. Set payload to Android Meterpeter reverse TCP. Set L host and set L port and run the reverse TCP handler. Great. Once it does that, we can click on the test.apk. It will ask us whether we want to download. I'm going to click on download. Open the test.apk. Go through the settings and just a quick note. See right here that the name of the actual application is different. It's called Flappy Bird and it has a different icon than to our previous payloads. So if the target sees this, they will think that they are downloading a regular Flappy Bird application. And let's click on install. Install anyway. And let's click first on don't send and run the application. And you will see straight away it actually went inside the Flappy Bird game. You can see it opened right here. But if we go back to Cal Linux, we got our Meterpeter session right here. And we can execute all of the commands that we were able to execute with our previous payloads. How cool is that? Our target will have no idea that they have been infected because they just opened the application that they thought they were running. Now you don't have to use Flappy Bird, you can use any other application whatsoever, as long as it has .apk extension. Great, now that we did this, in the next video, I will show you a way of how you can infect the target in a different network. So there is one way which is called port forwarding, but for that way you need to actually have access to your router. In case you don't have access to your router, there is a second way by using a certain tool that we will cover in the next video. But before we do that, let's give Flappy Bird a try, let's play it once, and let's see who will have a better score. It is going a little bit slow because it is a virtual machine. Nonetheless, you can see that the game works. And I actually didn't go far, I made it only two points. If you do better, make sure you post it in the questions. Nonetheless, let's get straight into the next video.